Good morning. It is currently Wednesday, August 10th, 2022. You can see I'm just getting ready to get in the shower. Sorry we haven't had any daily updates. However, we're still having some internet problems. Can't understand how I buy a product or buy a SIM card. Doesn't work in the product I have. My fault, nobody else's. And then there's no customer support. And then I go out and buy one of their products and the device that I bought and the service that I bought with the SIM card aren't working and I spend, oh, I don't know, two hours between their company and the other company trying to figure out how to make it work. And the answer is you got to come into the store, which is a 50 mile drive. There are some downsides of living remotely, I agree. However, when you're dealing with an individual who works for a company, sitting in front of a computer from that company, who is attached to the mainframe from that company, who's given all the information from the service I bought, and goes, I can't do it from here. How far do we have to lower our standards before we realize it's, it's terrible? I will have to drive to town next week. It'll be a month or thereabouts where I've already paid for a service I'm not using. And if they can't fix it, I'm just going to drop it all in the garbage and just say, it's not that important. Anyway, Queso is currently eating. And we have to think about getting into the shower in a couple minutes. Just letting you know, I'm fine. Everything's good. The last couple of days have been a little uh, hot and a little tough here. I've got a lot of stuff done here in the rig. Saw a lot of cool animals. Okay. Sunday was a little tough. And the reason Sunday was tough was because it all hit me. All of the major joints hurt. The neck, the shoulders, the knees, an elbow or two, the ankles. I had to double my vitamin regimen and drink a lot of water. Remember... After what I did, I can never stop it. I can only just keep it calm. Queso's fine. Let's see when you find him. Finishing his breakfast. Uh, baby crocodiles. Still seeing baby crocodiles. They're only about 9 to 11 inches long. Very, very fun. And people love them. They really do love them. Okay. Uh, other than that, ladies, I've talked to a number of people. Y'all know I'm okay. Still walking a mile and a half to work most days. A lot of fun. Really good for the cardiovascular. Really good for the mental. So I'm having a good time. So as soon as I start having really positive internet access here, then we're going to go back to our daily format. Okay. Conversation today, very quickly everything I'm seeing out here in the world through my little window is preservation. Okay. I'm watching a lot of people doing canning videos, jarring videos. I've done it. I've got a canner way up there. So I can do it and I'm okay. I know how to do it. Learning as I go along. Sometimes I mess up. Preservation. Preservation of food. Whether it be I don't know, uh, canning jars or remove the water or silica absorbents or, and I did hear, you know, out of this year that Amazon of all places is actually trying to outlaw Mylar bags, which are a staple in the preparedness and pre preservation community. What a shock. What a shock. Who could have seen this coming? Wait until they start pulling mason jars off the shelf because those are domestic terrorist tools. Yeah, wait. Get them now while you can. Preservation is important. Not only preservation of food, resources. I collect most of my gray water in a big bowl. What do I do with it? I water the garden. I He gets clean water. I get clean water. But we catch the gray water because I use some... You know, very, very easy stuff to take care of, soap and whatnot. So we use it to water the garden. 
Preservation of time. Your total currency in your life is your time. Don't argue with the nuts. Don't do it. I had a guy on the boat the other day that started with his BS. And all I said to him is, I have no data on this. Here's the title tables. Here's the information I have on it. And I have no information on that. Uh, you're going to have to do your own research. I just don't have any information. Turned around, walked around him, and took care of the 27 other guests who did not want to virtue signal to feel good. He still gave me a $20 tip. Hey. So what else did we do? Oh, hey. He's up and moving. Preservation of food. Yes. Freezing is a great way to do it, but be careful. You need a backup power source. Preservation of dry food. Yes. If you have not run out and bought a food saver or anything else, grab it now. I don't have the container attachment because you know what? I tried one and it didn't work well. So I use some other methods. Please take care of that. Okay. Preservation of wealth. Very important. If your money's in the bank, get it out of there. Pull out only what you need for operating capital. And if you have a retirement account, like I do, like he does, use that to pay down debt as fast as you darn well can and leave only the bare minimum in there. Trade it off for some other things. It's going to go away. Everything I see, yes, I know. Everything I see tells me it's going to go away. We shouldn't have to suffer because we worked hard. So do your very best. To take care of that. And as always, before I... Oh, I got to hit the showers. Find your tribe. Like-minded individuals who share your values and you have skills to trade off on. Just... Watch out for you. It's really scary out there. People are nuts. I mean, we are seeing some things that I never thought I would ever see in my lifetime. I'm seeing the government being used to harass citizens. I'm seeing, what did they say? 87,000 IRS agents. How many brown coats can you sew together when you don't have thread and wool? Can't happen. Please, if you haven't started taking care of yourself, take care of yourself physically, mentally, emotionally. Please take care of those who are like-minded. They're going to help you. Nobody else will. And ultimately, you're your only help. And the most important thing is... Again, find your tribe, like-minded individuals who share your values. And you're going to have to start getting a little bit persnickety, I love that word, persnickety, about the busybodies and the snitches and the everything else. You're going to have to get a little bit rough. I don't want to. You don't want to. Kezo don't want to. Some point in time, it's going to be fist to face and thrown off the property. Please take care of you. As soon as I can do another video, okay, so you got to go down here. As soon as I can do another video, I will. As soon as I get the internet stable, I will. If you guys need anything, you know how to call me. I can reach you except when I'm on the boat. So from... About 8 to 5, unless it's an emergency. You know, that's it. Other than that, email or check it every day. I can still do that. Okay, But please, take care of you. Things are getting a little weird out there. Our weird is not their weird. Let's keep doing our weird, because our weird works. Have a good day. I'm out. Shower time. Hey, where I live, I'm always in need of a shower. Remember, be good. And if you can't be good, don't get caught. Rock to you later.